right, and I finally got it. I believe that was my fourth time through. As you can see, I did lose money. I'm down to uh, 940 total, uh, but I found the heart piece, so it's worthwhile for me in the end. I think I found it in this one here. So hooray, I found a piece of heart, number 14 for us. Hooray! Uh, that's actually all that I wanted to take care of here in the dark world for the time being. There are more things I wanted to do, uh, but unfortunately getting to uh, where Kakariko Village is, it's not Kakariko Village, but there is a village, uh, involves getting past this, and I can't get past this. So we're gonna have to find another way. Eventually, not right now. For now, we do it in the light world. So we can head up here. As you can see, there's a lot more soldiers going around these days. Feels wrong to hit things with, uh, with my boomerang and then not kill them. Really? I hit him once. There we go. Much easier to kill him this way. All right, we can head up here and into Kakariko Village. There's a couple things we can do here. I'm gonna put off some of them, but for the time being, we are gonna head over to the right. Remember we, were, we saw the blacksmith here before. Uh, we did talk to him. Uh, let's talk to him again because I don't remember what he said. If my lost partner returns, we can temper your sword, but now I can't do anything for you. All right, well, he can temper my sword, but uh, not right now. But I do have a magic hammer. I can get rid of that. Why it's a magic hammer, they have not fully explained. But now that that is open to me, all of this nothingness is open to me. But it does give me access to a bomb. Also, this right here. Remember we did that before in Kakariko Village, now we have the ability to do that here. So what we wanna do is head north from here and we can find this crazy looking thing. What do you do with crazy looking things? You put magic powder on it. Hey, blast you for waking me from my deep dark sleep. I mean, thanks a lot, sir. But now I will get my revenge on you. Get ready for it. Er, is that okay with you, sir? I laugh at your misfortune. Now your magic power will drop by one half. Congratulations. Now do your best, even though I'm sure it won't be enough. Have a nice day. See you. And he gives us half magic. Now that sounds a lot worse than it actually is. Uh, it's actually an upgrade for us. Basically, all the magic that we did or have been doing, will be doing, all that kind of stuff, uh, now only costs half as much magic. Quite an increase for us, so very nice to have that. With that done, let's put uh, my flute bla black on. Yes, my flute black on. Uh, my flute back on so that I can head back into Kakariko Village. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of guards around here now. Sure, I'll take it. But we can head up here to the weather vane. Now, this thing kind of works as a compass of sorts, but not really, just where the wind's blowing. If we use our flute here. We get the full rendition of the song, plus a bird pops out of the weather vane. I can't say I've ever seen that happen before. And away it goes. So, hooray, we did it. What can we do with that? Well, if we blow the flute again, we can use this as a warp. As you can see, it takes us really far around the map. So we can go to Death Mountain over here. Uh, we can go to uh, the Witch's Hut over here, uh, Kakariko Village, uh, to Link's House, to the Eastern Canyons to the Desert of Mystery, as it's called, uh, the Great Swamp, as it's called, and then Lake Hylia, which we got the name for before. We're gonna actually head out to Death Mountain. This is uh, the Death Mountain entrance, of course, but uh, it will take us where we wanna go. Yeah, let's just uh, 
Actually, no, I wanted to go the other way. This is backwards. They spawned me further than I wanted to go, but I did want to reset the boulders a bit. All right, let's, let's get in. All right, that's great. That's great. You guys turned to stone and then stopped me so that the boulder could hit me. <laughs> Damn boulders. All right, but we made it back here. Remember the old guy is here. He'll heal us. He has uh, nothing new to say. Should get uh, my boomerang out just in case. But now that we have half magic, I should be able to get access to something that I kind of got before but, but put off because I didn't have enough magic for it. But now that I have essentially twice as much magic stocked up, I do have the ability to actually get the thing. We're not going to mess around here too much. I know where I'm going. We want to head down here. But then we can make it to the top of Death Mountain. This will involve a little bit of super. Right, that went right for me. It will involve a little bit of uh, going into the dark world again, but that's okay at this point. So, let us, uh, yeah. Just hoping, hoping to still have full health at this point, so we can take on the jumping spiders once more. Because our goal is actually on the other side, really? Just, uh, freaking jumping spiders. Why am I not using the boomerang? They don't put hearts in here, do they? Oh well. Uh, it's up by the tower where we want to go, so how do we get up to the tower? Remember, we have to go through here. Hey! Wow! That was lucky on my part. Uh, let's go to the dark world. Use the magic mirror right around here. Actually, that was a little bit lower than I wanted it to be, but that's all right. It's boomerang just in case. Not down here. Turn you to stone. And head across the bridge. Remember, this is the tower. And this is something that we can get that's nice. We will need the Book of Medora for it. Because if I look at it normally, it's that crazy language again. But we kind of speak that crazy language now. As long as I have the book in front of me. Translate it for me. Hold up the Master Sword and you will get the magic of ether. This is the Ether Medallion. Its magic controls the upper atmosphere and polar wind. Watch your magic meter. It's essentially a new magic for us. It'll kill everything on screen. It's quite nice, but uh, we do not need to use that right now. I don't think it kills these guys, though. Uh, never actually tried. It's fine. It's fine. Where we're going, there will be hearts. Damn you. They bounce off the walls. Like, they bounce off. Ugh. These guys suck. All right. That, that's enough of me getting hit for the time being. Uh, now we need to leave Death Mountain. That's what we came to get. So, we will leave here. Uh, yeah, we're fine. These are the these are the rough ones. I went through this entire area the first time without having any difficulty, but now that I'm like, oh, this is easy, that's when I start messing up. It's always just like a little thing here and there. I have gotten hit more than enough. You know what? We're gonna have to kill some of you guys now because I want these hearts that are hopefully underneath here. Right, there's one. Uh, I might need a second one. Either way, we'll eventually go where I need to go. Which is back outside. Now from here, I'll try to kill you normally. God, it's not always easy. There we go. All right, that, that should be good enough. We want to head back to where the lumberjacks were. And we're going to start by going into their house because houses are very nice for giving me two hearts. I was hoping for a third one. All right, let's uh, blast through this and hope for the best. Did we ever go in here? I don't think we did. If you run through, then if there's a bomb, it won't explode on you. That's the reason why I'm doing it. Uh, I don't think we went in here. It doesn't have much to show for us, but uh, there is a heart piece 
that we don't have access to. So how do we get access to it? Well, if you dash into the tree that they were trying to chop down, you can see that there is a hole here now. And if we drop down, we do have access to some fairies. Uh, do I need a fairy? I do need a fairy. Bug catching net. I got rid of too many of these. Please, please make up for my mistake. All right, we got the fairy. Keep it in a bottle. So now we have two fairies and a blank one. I should get a magic potion or a full heal potion or whatever you want to call it uh, pretty soon. But for now, we get ourselves a piece of heart. That is number 15 for us. So many pieces of hearts. Lots of hearts. But now that we have done that, it is time for me to head back to the Dark World. How do we get back to the Dark World, though? That is kind of a question at this point. It's not necessarily an easy one to answer. You guys need to die. You guys are still deadly. All right, down he went. Um, they... Don't let me use the magic mirror from the light world to go to the dark world. It only works the other way around. Um, so how do you actually do it? The one at Death Mountain isn't going to help you all that much, right? So what you can do, and the way that I would recommend, is... Oh, well, I think I missed it. Eh, yeah, we'll go back. I went too far. I'm used to going in from the right. I used to going in from the left. All right, so. What you can do is head for Hyrule Castle, which is where I'm trying to go. Uh, that would be down here, which I always forget exists because it's between trees. It's not a good reason to forget it, but that is the reason. If we, oh, hold on. Let me just go over here. If we head over here, we're back in the Hyrule uh, Castle grounds, so to speak. And there is actually a, a portal to the Dark World here. I know it's a little weird, but that is where it is. So if we head back here, dealing with all of the guards, being at full health makes this go a lot faster. And we try to head into Hyrule Castle? Warp to the Dark World, which is exactly what I wanted, so it's not necessarily a bad thing at all. Let me go ahead and take care of these guys. Jeez. Alright, let's hit them with the boomerang. So that I can kill you faster. Alright, down he goes. But now that I've made it back to the Dark World and we have some more work to do here, that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda a Link to the Past. I've been Baller Scuba. I've been joined, as always, by our world-traversing hero of Link. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>